don't you want any breakfast? No, and I don't want to see you, and I don't want to go to school. I wish I was dead. Well, I don't blame you. We've all let you down. Look, I went to see the police last night. I've withdrawn my statement. So you won't go to prison? No. And I've told him. And he said he's sorry for hitting me. And we're both going to try and behave better from now on. Not let you down anymore. And we're doing it because we both care about you. Well, aren't you going to say anything? I'll believe it when it happens. Fair enough. It's up to us to show you that we mean it. In the meantime, he'd really like to see you. Would you like to see him later on? I'll tell him you'll drop in after school, eh? Is Chris all right about it? All right about what? Letting Kane off. Oh, yeah, he's thrilled. Don't worry, I can sort Chris out. There you go. You look great. Motherhood suits you. Thank you. And are you feeling OK? No. I feel completely exhausted all the time. <laughs> but then that's normal with a new baby, isn't it? The good news is the only voices I've got in my head are the ones that are saying, does she need a nappy changing? Does she need another feed? Mm. And luckily, I've got Chloe to help me make sure I don't ignore them. Chloe? She's my nanny, and I couldn't manage without her. But you're coping. Oh, I'm sorry. We're just going out. Yeah, of course. You're taking Debbie to see Kane, then? Yes. And it's her decision. Now, let's get this straight, Charity. It's your decision. I'm really sorry about that, OK? Oh, coping. Sometimes I feel I'm the only sane one round here. Hi. Hi, Debbie. So, uh, what time would you like to pick her up? About eight. That's all right with you. She's not convinced. She wasn't sure about coming. No. Right, well, I'll see about it then. You're not going to look at the pigs? No. Oh. Sorry, boss. Didn't expect to see you. I was looking for charity. She's out. I just she asked me to get a few groceries and not, and then I've done it. Boss. Bit of a joke, really. You what? Do you fancy a pint? Now? No, next week. Of course now. Sorry. Got a bit of a headache. Terry, would you like to go for a drink? Oh, well, yeah. If you're paying. Oh, going somewhere? Yes. Anywhere special? I'm just no, going for a pint. Well, can I come? I could just do with a drink. Actually, Terry and I fancy to drink on our own. So. So. What's up? She's withdrawn her statement. Why? Why do you think? Yeah, because it would upset Debbie, I suppose. That's what she says. Well, you'd have thought after what happened last I night. I know, I know. The minute King Dingle moved into this village, I knew he was scum. All of the Dingles, scum. Look, except charity, of course. But I knew straight away that he was the bottom of the barrel. Now, of all people, he has to become part of my life. I'm even bringing up his own daughter, for God's sake. Have I got into this mess? I've fallen in love with charity. But only because of the past. Because of this girl turning up. Because of some sex thing that happened years ago. 
I have to listen to his voice on the end of a phone every day. I have to... Him knocking at my door every day. His face grinning at me every day. Yeah, well, you've just got to insist, insist that their meetings are, are somewhere else, away from your house. I have no power. You do over charity. And she might have over Kane. No. If it wasn't for the fact, I'd end up in prison. Which would defeat the object. I'd kill him. <laughs> Come on. How long are gonna keep this up? Never been much of one for walking for its own sake. So you hate me then, do you? You don't care about me. You wouldn't even care about me, even if I jumped out in front of a car in the last minute. Don't! What do you think you're doing? So you do care. Sorry, love. Just trying to scare my daughter. Well, there was never any real danger with the speed you were going, except you wetting your knickers. That's supposed to convince me that you and Mum are going to behave more like adults. We only said with each other, not all the time. If I ask you a question, well, you promised to answer the truth. No. What was the question? Why Ollie Reynolds hates your guts? Keep off it. Why can't you just tell me? Because she hates me. Because everyone hates me. Because she's a good judge of character. That's not it. I used to go out with Ollie's mum. She were in the police, weren't she? Yes, a job. Now that's enough. And then she died. I said that's enough. Did you love her? Did you? Hi, can we join you? Um, no. Time. Paul almost committed the entire family, except me today. It was pretty grim. Well, big round with charity, I think. The cane factor. Yeah, difficult situation, that. Well, we specialise. Child with two fathers, child with none. But at the moment, in the coping sticks, I'm coming out on top. So I would like to take you up on the baptism offer. Ah, good job. I'd already pencilled you in. Outrageous! <laughs> Did you ever love my mum? Like, properly? Oh, did you? You did, didn't you? You wouldn't say she loved me when she married me, you know? Are you gonna regret telling me all this in the morning? In fact, she told me she definitely didn't love me. didn't mind. Well, I did. Stupidly, I thought that kind of honesty meant at least she wasn't just taking me for a mug, pretending, laughing at me behind my back. I believed it when she said she liked me. Well, I'm sure she did. <laughs> Still does. She said more than that since. Said she loved me in the end. You know that? Of course she didn't. It's quite recent. Do you know when that was? When I said Debbie could move in. Her child with that man. 
I love you. Best moment of my life. And I love her, of course. Still. But I'm afraid that I am that thing, Terry. That mug. Yeah. That's what I think I am. Vain. Stupid. Wealthy man in a wheelchair. She's made a fool out of me. She still is to me. Because I let her. <laughs>